Sevenos Tsitsipas versus Carlos Alcaraz is the final of the Barcelona Open for 2023. And both guys have been very impressive to get to the final. Tsitsipas entered the tournament as the number two seed, and we're going to buy in the first round. In the second round, he take on Cashin. This is no problem for Steph, getting through in straight sets. 6-4, 6-2. In the third round, he take on the number 14 seed Shapovalov. We had played some tough matches against before, but this was not one of them. Getting through in straight sets, 6-3, 6-2. In the quarterfinals, he take on the number eight seed, Dimonor, who had just gotten a walkover win over Dimitrov in the previous round. But again, no problem for City Pass. Getting through in straight sets, 6-4, 6-2, to advance to the semifinals. In the semifinals, he take on the number nine seed, Musetti, who he had had some tough battles on clay with the last few times they'd met. And this was no different. But City Pass having to win a third set, eventually winning 6-4, 5-7, 6-3, to, to get to his third Barcelona in a final. Algras started the tournament off as the number one seed, and we'll get a bye in the first round. In the second round, he take on Borges. This was no problem for Alcaraz. Getting through in straight sets, 6-3, 6-1. In the third round, he take on fellow Spaniard at number 13 seed, Batista Agu. And after a close second set, Alcaraz would get through in straights, 6-3, 7-5. In the quarterfinals, he take on the number 10 seed, David Ovechukina, who had taken out Rusevori in the previous round. And again, after a very close set in the first, Alcaraz would get through in straights, 7-6, 6-4, to get to the semifinals. In the semifinals, he take on the number 12 seed, Evans. But this was one of the easiest matches of the week for Alcaraz. Getting through in straight sets, 6-2, 6-2, to advance to the final. These two have played three times before with Alcaraz winning all three matches. But they have played a couple of close matches, including the quarterfinals here last year. They went three sets. If Sissipas is going to win this one, he needs to bring the variety. We saw that against Musetti. He could have probably got out of that in straight sets. Unfortunately, had to play a third. Or maybe fortunately, got that extra play under his belt. Now, he is battling some sort of an injury with his arm. He's got tape on it for the whole week. So if we can keep that under control and also keep the variety and be aggressive as well against Alcris, take the baseline away, he might get the win. If Alcris is going to win this one, he needs to use the crowd to his advantage and just play the same way he's been playing against Cincy Pass. He's obviously got a working game plan against Steph. It's worked three times before and it worked this time last year at this same event. So he knows he can beat him. So it's going to be a matter of trying to get that game plan in and hope the City Pass doesn't change things up. This is a very fun final. One versus two in the seedings and a rematch of last year. These guys have put on some bangers as well. I think it is going to go three sets, but I reckon City Pass is going to get the win here. I reckon he's going to upset Alcaraz and finally get a win over Alcaraz. Last time they played, City Pass was a totally different guy. He's starting to bring in those volleys. Bit bigger serve as well, City Pass. So I reckon he might get the win here, but let me know down in the comments below. Who do you think is going to win Barcelona?